Mother Earth needs a little contour and highlight time. So let me show you. So part whatever, I'm going to, I'm guessing it's five now, might be six. I'm just, I just sanitized my hands because I cleaned my brushes off camera. I'll show you guys how to do that and not use as much water this time. <laughs> Some of you guys will understand what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm priming my skin with Prep and Prime skin and I'm going to start doing my eyebrows. I know I already did a toot on them, but I figured what the hey, might as well. So I just combed them. Let me find my wax. Here it is. Here, I'll actually use a brown wax since I'm Earth. And just start three-fourths of the way in. And then I'm going to stick these up. Chances are you're not even going to really see my eyebrows in a lot of the pictures because my bangs will be hanging down. But just in case I decide to flip my hair up, I'll have my brows dead. Someone commented that they didn't like my brows. They thought that they were too thick and too harsh. <laughs> oh well, they're mine, not yours, so it all works out. All right, so now I'm just filling them in. I'm using Brune MAC eyeshadow. It's a satin finish, don't be scared. Just don't use a frosty. You can't even really tell that it's satin finish. It's not like my eyebrows have a sheen to them. Sorry, random hair right there. Alrighty, almost done here. You can always opt to go with doing your eyebrows first before your eyeshadows, because I know some people do that so they can see where their eyebrow, I mean eyeshadows need to be placed on the lid and crease and highlight color and all that stuff. So. Whatever way works best for you. I know that I don't generally have to draw in my eyebrows. I just fill them in with an eyeshadow because they're pretty thick as they are naturally. All right. And then if you need to, I just go under like that with my finger. I'm not afraid of wiping off any eyeshadow or anything when I do that. So now it's time for found day day. I'm going to go with Studio Sculpt, and let me find, there it is, my 187 brush, which I have cleaned since that first epitute, but I got dirty again. <laughs> oh. And see, all this underneath area, I mean, it looks worse in person. That's why I like to do foundations last after doing eyes, if you're doing something more dramatic. Especially with greens. Greens tend to just look disastrous underneath your eyes if you haven't gotten enough sleep. People talk about blue circles, honey. I've got green circles. And if you have glitter fallout anywhere, a little trick, even if you're wearing makeup underneath where the glitter is you can take scotch tape which i don't have any in my station here oh it's in my bag you can take scotch tape and you can just apply it and wherever you need to get the glitter up it gets up you might have to touch up a little bit afterwards but it's not it's not a problem it's actually worth it so you don't have to sit there and be like oh, how am i gonna get this glitter off jeez lou And since I'm wearing a tank top, I'll go ahead and blend it into my neck. Somebody asked about that on camera. It looks like my foundation doesn't match that well, but I promise in person, you can't even tell. See, it looks so yellow and then my neck looks so red. You would think that I'm more of a warm undertone or a pinky undertone, but to me, I'm not. And then let me find, while I'm doing this and wasting time, let me find my cream concealers. My friend who is going to be doing this photo shoot as well, 
he reorganized my station here, and so I'm having to relocate where certain things are. Thanks, Quinn. Thanks. Well, huh? That's really odd. Well, I have this one, but not very much of it. Hmm. Oh, well, okay. Well, I guess I will use, this is NC42 Studio Finish Concealer. As you can see, I'm running low. And I'm just gonna use, I forgot what number brush this is, but this one is a smaller version of the 181. And I like this concealer, it's a cream. You need to set it with a powder, but it's full coverage. So for your wedding day, you have a really big special event, or you've just got really crazy under eye circles, heck, even tattoos, it will cover it up. It also helps cover up fallen glitter. Since my scotch tape is in my Merce and I cannot be bothered to go get it. And one thing you'll notice about me is I like my skin to look nice, but I'm not like a freak about it. It's okay if I have a few like boobops everywhere. Because it's called Photoshop. So now I'm going to contour. I'm using blunt powder with a 129 brush. Make sure to blend into the hairline. Blend into your jawline. Sorry, I just saw like magic marker on my forehead. <laughs> when did I get into that? Now I'm using Goddess Blush, but a good substitute since this was limited edition would be Peaches. Which I don't own personally, but when you go to the MAC counter, if you look at it, it's pretty similar. And let's highlight a little bit. From the same launch that Goddess came out, I'm going to use Yoga Mode. It's a beauty powder. I'm just gonna get right underneath my la uh, my under eye area. <laughs> Sorry. I like it. It's got like soft focus powders, so this area just looks so pretty. Can we say my phone is possessed? Hello. Okay. What? Uh-huh. 